it's good to be back fellow coin collectors so thank you very much for watching my video and my name is Glenn in case you are new to my channel and if you are just coming back I'll welcome you and thank you very much and please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and today we're just going to have a look at the uncirculated coin set of Iraq well it's not really uncirculated it's actually comes from circulation because these coins are a little bit damaged but the curious thing is is that I have no idea who actually issued them because um, it doesn't say who actually issued these coins so on the back we have some information Arabic and English which a lot of these coin sets now do have English because they know that a lot of people from around the world actually collect them. And the most widespread language around the world is actually English. And it doesn't say anything about the Sumerians. So the Sumerians actually were the first people to use writing. One of the first. The other people were the Egyptians, the Chinese, and the Mesoamericans. So the people who predate the Maya, the Olmecs, the Toltecs, or was it the Olmecs? Anyway, they actually invented writing. So four systems around the world invented writing. And this script here, you wouldn't be surprised, but the Latin and the Arabic script actually come from the same script. They come from Phoenician about 2,800 years ago. So these scripts are actually related. All scripts are related, and it's just been changed over time. But all these coins are actually from the 70s to the 90s, and we'll have a look. But do we know what the date of this actual pack, when it was actually issued? Yeah, well, we can from the actual flag. So here we have the flag of Iraq. And this was the flag that was used between... 2004 and 2008, the previous flag from 91 to 94 had the inscription written in uh, Saddam Hussein's handwriting, but this one just has a, I think it is the Kufic script. Let me have a look. I'm actually looking at the Wikipedia article. Yeah, the Kufic script, which is a style of writing uh, Arabic. And this is actually called... The two scripts is actually called the Tachber. Tachber. Now I know I've butchered this, but I don't know how to pronounce Arabic. I mean, it just says Allahu Akbar, which just means God is great. It has nothing to do with jihadists. It's just a phrase that you'll find in the Quran quite a lot, and you'll find it in not Arabic scripts in other religions, but you'll find that the Bible has God is great. So it was some type of variation of that as well. So on the back, we have the palm trees with uh, the setting sun, or yeah, I'd say setting sun in the background. On the front, we have the coat of arms of Iraq, Iraq, and in circulation set. And on the inside, we actually have the coins. We'll have a look at those in a minute. And here we have the, on the back, Ramadan Mosque in Baghdad. Okay, so here's some information on it. It actually looks, I think that's a more modern sculpture. It might be uh, the temples. Uh, Monument to the Martyrs. There's a, looks like the Iraqi flag used before 91 with just three stars on it. On this side, we have a, oh, sorry, it's a victory arch. And then him. Bang, a monument to the war against Iran, so 1980 to 1988. And here we have a victory arch here as a sword, Arabic style. And on this side, so this is the obverse of the coins. They have um, date palms on them. And as you can see, it just has a long line of date palms in the background, three in the front. So date palms are pretty, pretty dominant in the southern Iraq where trees generally don't grow. 
They probably do have some trees, not enough to sustain them. And these have been used since Sumerian times. And on this side, we just have the denominations. So, up until 1970, the 5 and 10 frills were issued in copper and nickel. Then after that, they were issued in steel. Um, the other denominations were issued in copper and nickel. So, the 25, 50, 100 frills and 250 frills in copper and nickel. But the 501 dinner were actually issued in nickel. And as you can see, there's just a size variation and a change in size. So what other coins should actually collect in this? Well, all these coins are actually a bit expensive, even though they actually had a high mintage. So this one is a 1975 high fields, has a 94 million. And this is a 1981 with 63 million. So this, but this date you want to get 1971 and 1971 for this one because they're very low mintage. And the 25 fields that was only issued um, in 1979. So before 1979, they had a 20 fields that was in silver. It was a small silver coin. And in 1969, it was issued in this uh, copper nickel version. So this set, the designs start to be issued in 1967, but not all of them were issued in that date. So 1969, uh, the lowest is uh, 1969, 1970, 40, 25, and that was only at about 6 million each. And then we have the 50 fills. So that is this coin here. And as you can see, it has a leaf and wheat. So I'm not too sure what that leaf is. Probably a date palm actually. And the one coin you want to get for that is 1979, one and a half million coins issued. Even though there's not in a few thousands, you know, they're still pretty low. And then we have the 100 fields. This was issued from 1970 to 79. It would have been used up until the 90s when it, hyperinflation took it out of circulation. The lowest is 1979 with one million coins, so that's the one to get. All these are actually pretty common, so this one is actually 975 with 12 million. It's actually the highest minted of the 100 fields coins. Then we have the 250 fields. It was round in 1970 and eight sided from 1980 to 1990. This one is the 1990 version, but there is no mint data. But still, they're actually not too common, so any date is fine. Any date of the 20, 250, 500, one dinner is good to get because, you know, they're actually pretty hard to get. Then we have the 500. This this is only one year type, so 1982, so you don't really have any any dates to actually go for. And the one dinner was actually 1981, and that's a one year type as well in this format. So that is the coin set from Iraq. So during the 1967 and 1990 period, these are the coins you would have used. Uh, at the start, you would have used uh, these coins here, 5 to 50 fields. Then a 100, 250, 500, and one dinner was issued later on. So, very interesting set. I'm not too sure how much this set actually costs. Um, I really do not see many of them. So, I presume there's Probably a few thousand, and they're all in collections. But if I was to make an educated guess based on the coin prices in here, I'll probably say about thirty to forty dollars. So if you got one of these, um, it's actually worth a bit of money, and it's something for you to actually keep because they're actually very hard to get. So anyway. Like say thank you very much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then also check out the links below. I'll put a link on eBay to Iraqi coins. So you might be able to search that and actually find one of these sets. 
at a good price. But basically, I wouldn't really pay over 50 bucks for that. Anyway, have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Thank you, and bye-bye.